Hi, I'm Health Coach Tara, and I've had a lot of questions lately about all kinds of products on the market that are marketed as low carb or keto friendly. So today I'm going to talk about if Carb Quick is a healthy flour blend for using on a keto or low carb diet. And be sure you watch to the end because I have some bonus content you won't want to miss. Now to figure out if this product is a healthy option for the keto diet, let's dive into the ingredients list. The first ingredient is carbolose flour, which is made up of enzyme enriched wheat, vital wheat gluten, wheat fiber, high protein patent wheat flour, soy fiber, canola oil, salt, emulsifiers, enzymes, and absorbic acid. So are these ingredients healthy? You know, like many other products on the market labeled as keto friendly, this product contains gluten. So the question I ask is, is gluten healthy on the keto diet? Now gluten in all forms contains a protein called gliadin, which helps form the gluten network that's so desirable in our bread and baked goods. So what's important to understand here is that gliadin, along with intestinal bacteria, creates a protein called zonulin. And zonulin has been studied that and proved to show that it leads to intestinal permeability by opening the tight junctions between our intestinal cells. And when these junctions open, things that shouldn't be able to get through our intestinal cell walls now is able to get in. Now this leads to an immune response and a cascade of symptoms known as leaky gut. Now, leaky gut can lead to a whole host of problems, and I'm going to link some well-researched articles below in the description. But for now, know that leaky gut often contributes to inflammation, a weaker immune system, and even cravings for sugar and carbohydrates. So the next question is, is this a problem for you? So if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a fan of putting on a detective hat and doing some investigative work. So I'll tell you what happened when I did this with Vital Wheat Gluten. In early 2020, I was at a conference in Omaha, Nebraska. And at that time, I had eliminated gluten and wheat from my diet completely for the three months prior to this conference. So I decided to do a little experiment with a keto pizza that was at the conference and they were using Vital Wheat Gluten as one of the main ingredients in the crust. So the morning after my two slices of pizza, I woke up with my face and whole body puffy, swollen feeling, and I had a dull headache. My mom, who was there with me, had the same reaction. So I went ahead and I took the leftovers home to my husband, Jeremy, who tried the same experiment. The next morning, he woke up with some unexplained muscle soreness, but didn't notice the puffiness that my mom and I had experienced. Now remember that this type of an experiment requires you to remove the food from your diet for at least four weeks before testing it out because it can take this long or longer for the inflammation to be reduced in the body. Now you may have heard of this before. Health coaches and nutritionists and other professionals often use this kind of an elimination diet to see how clients respond to certain foods. I also partner with a naturopath in Australia, and he does some accurate food and chemical sensitivity testing. If you'd like to learn more about this, please email me at tara at wholebodyliving.com, that's T-A-R-A -A, at wholebodyliving.com, and we will send over some information for you to look into that further. So if vital wheat gluten isn't a healthy ingredient, why are companies using it? Well, from their perspective, they're trying to find a way to please the taste buds and sell a product. The gluten network is really what gives bread its structure, so it makes sense that companies are using science to take out the carbs from wheat flour, keeping the gluten in, so they can use it in products like Carb Quick. Now, there are a few other ingredients I'm not a fan of in Carb Quick. Well, one main one, which is canola oil, also the other wheat flours that don't contain gluten. So these days we know that canola oil is a bad fat. It causes inflammation in the body. But the canola oil marketing has many people confused because it was so aggressively pushed for years as being a healthy fat when saturated fats were being demonized. 
I also don't like that this company is saying emulsifiers and not listing out what specific emulsifiers are being used in the product. So what do you do? Instead of using products like CarbQuit, explore my website with keto bread, keto roll, keto waffle, pancake, and other recipes that I've created using healthy keto ingredients. And know that I'm constantly developing and adding new recipes, so be sure you bookmark it and check back often. And if you want to be the first to know about brand new recipes, make sure you've subscribed to my email list. We send out a what's new email each Saturday morning, so you're sure not to miss a new recipe. To sign up, all you have to do is go to wholebodyliving.com and choose any of the freebies right on the front page. With these recipes in your arsenal, you won't need to buy anything with vital wheat gluten in it ever again. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure you've subscribed to this channel and turned on all notifications. And if you're new to keto, you can get our freebies like our free keto food list and our free keto meal plans on our website at wholebodyliving.com. Until next time, this is health coach Tara wishing you the very best of health.